It was in July 1995 when workmen who were demolishing the Mitre Hotel here in Burnley made a grim discovery. This, my friends, is the story of the unknown baby. So today's story has brought us here back to Burnley Cemetery and as many people who follow us will realise and will know we've been here quite a few times covering stories. Now it was early this year when I stumbled across the short story that we're going to cover today and that is of an unknown baby. And it was back in July 1995 like I said at the very start of this video that some remains, some skeletal remains, would be found by workmen who were demolishing the Mitre Hotel. Now from all accounts the Mitre Hotel was an old Victorian pub. Now for whatever reason it had been left abandoned for so long, I don't know if it was unsafe to go into or we just don't know why it was demolished, but demolished it was. And I think from all accounts now it's been turned into some kind of hub and I'll put details down below as to what it is now being used for. But we're going to try and find the grave where this poor little soul was interred. And I think it was August that same year, so it was August 1995. And our service took place here at Burnley Cemetery. Now we do have a grave number, so we're going to walk through the cemetery, we're going to try and locate the final resting place, uh, just to pay our respects. There's not a lot to this story, but we'll get into that as we get closer to the final resting place. Now, there was a ceremony to commemorate, I think it was the National Day of the Dead, back in August 1995. And the ceremony and the service for the unknown baby took place, like I said, here at Burnley Cemetery. Now, the child's, or the child's skeleton, I should say, it was discovered wrapped in some old newspaper that was inside the chimney crevice within the Mitre Hotel in one of the rooms. Now, one article says it was renovation work that was being undertaken, whereas another article says the building itself was being demolished to make way for new premises. But whatever was happening back in 1995, like I said, a child's skeletal remains was found. Now, obviously, at the time, this would have no doubt been a crime scene. So obviously, work had to stop and the police were involved. But despite a large police inquiry and an inquest, the baby's identity and cause of death has remained a mystery. Now, according to some people, the child's remains may have lain undiscovered for well over 75 years due to the date on the newspaper that the remains were found wrapped in. Also, nothing was ever mentioned about the sex of the child. We don't know if it's a male or a female, Obviously, we don't know the age. There's absolutely nothing with regards to, like I said, the identity of this, this poor child. Now, one question I instantly asked, and me and Vicky spoke about this coming down to Burnley Cemetery, is if it was a newborn baby, like some people had suggested, it might have been a stillborn or a stillbirth. Now, if that is the case, and this baby child had been wrapped in a newspaper and then placed inside the chimney, then surely the newspaper itself would have disintegrated, is that the word? Due to, and I know this sounds a bit grim, but due to surely the bodily fluids of the child as, as the child started to decompose, um, surely the newspaper itself would have, would have suffered. So I'm wondering if the child itself had died many months prior 
that had been placed inside the chimney breast. And it was the skeletal remains themselves that were wrapped in the newspaper by persons of unknown and placed inside the chimney. So it wasn't a full fleshed being, if you will. It was the skeletal remains right at the beginning. Then that would make the actual remains slightly older than 75 or 80 years. It could be a lot older. So this is a mystery in itself. It's not just a case of they could have been there for 75 years. They could have been there a lot longer than we first presume. So here at Burnley Cemetery, all the plots, like in obviously all many other places such as this, they have their own locations. That is the A location, A da 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 da. This is the NE section, so NE and NE. Now we're looking for NE2893. We've never been before to visit this poor soul. But we do know that the remains are somewhere either in that plot or this plot. And it's just now a case of narrowing it down, looking at other headstones for a, a starting point and then backtracking. So some of the headstones and the surrounds are very faded, but there isn't any, and I think it's 1393 or 1283 or 129, it's so difficult to read, but no, it's any one something. So, it's just a case, like I said, of uh, keep searching and narrowing it down now. Now, how sad is this? Whilst we're looking for the child of an unknown baby, or an unnamed baby, we do have one here called Wendy Miles. 11th of June 1954, born sleeping. May she rest in peace. Now we know this is any 2870 and further up there we've got 2863 and we've just counted and it does tie up 2870. So we know that this poor little child's grave is somewhere down in this line. In this, this either this line or Not the one next to it. Well, it's going to be this one, isn't it? So we'll make our way down and see if we can find her. So Vicky's just worked her way down. It's either this one or that one. And think it's that one. we think it's that one. It is covered, it's been, grass has been cut. So let's have a quick look. Well, I'm seeing child. I'm seeing child there. Now they have put a year. Does that say unknown? Unknown child, yeah. yeah. Unknown child. 1919. Died 1919. At peace. Not, Alone? Not sure that says. Uh, there's the year 1995. Yeah. Oh, at peace at last. Oh, yeah. 1995. So they're saying it, it died in 1919. Yeah. Well, I suppose can I go only go off what? The newspaper article in the year said. So the final resting place of this unknown child here at Burnley Cemetery, and like Vicky said, they've got a year 1919, so that's what they've estimated the age of this poor soul is. And like you say, we can see 1995 when the remains were buried just here. final resting place of the unknown child and it's quite sombre to be honest knowing that below our feet just here 
lies an innocent soul who obviously nobody will ever ever know whose child it was if it was a boy or a girl and indeed how old this child was when it sadly lost his life or her life it's quite sad now when this story first emerged and obviously the skeletal remains were found and it hit the local press some research researchers did some digging from all accounts but like i said earlier there was never anything conclusive that was ever found like i said as to the identity so some people just theorized that perhaps because it was an hotel or a public house at the time and we're going back to early 1900s and as you saw on the headstone it says 1919 now that is just a rough estimate of when obviously this baby may may not have died but most certainly may have been placed inside the chimney cavity now some experts and some people seem to believe that perhaps it was um it was a couple who may have gone there the female gave birth now she might have given birth away from her friends, her family, the public eye. She may have gone with a boyfriend or a partner. The baby sadly died and obviously they've left it hidden in the chimney cavity. But again, that raises questions as to why the newspaper, from all accounts, seemingly was, wasn't in too bad a condition. You'd have expected the, the newspaper itself to have disintegrated by, by, by now. Um, other people seem to think perhaps it might be a single woman it could have been a mill worker it could have been somebody who might have been not embarrassed to be pregnant that's not the word but she might have felt that her family would have disowned her if they found out so she might have gone to the hotel knowing she was due to give birth and obviously she may well have killed her own child I know that sounds a bit horrific but we do come across tales such as this where single ladies have suffocated or drowned their own children because they were worried about what the family were going to say and how they were going to judge the daughter. Not saying that is the case here. It's a mystery. 100% it's a mystery. I don't think anybody will ever know how these remains ended up in the chimney cavity of the Mitre Hotel. It's sad in that somebody all those years ago did what they did. They placed the remains of this, this poor child where, they, where you know, they placed the child in the chimney. Somebody back in the day did this, but why? Why would they do this? Like I said, was it an embarrassment? Had they lost the baby and didn't want all the costs associated with it? It really is one to get your head around and and try and think for yourselves as to why these remains would end up where they did. So like Vicky's just come up with a good point, and I kind of touched on it further up, in that perhaps, and let's just let's just summarise, let's just let's just think that maybe the mother of the child herself went to the hotel, knowing she was going to give birth sometime at that point. The baby was due, she may have been in labour, so she took her room out. And she went there because she may have been pregnant out of wedlock. And the pregnancy, the baby, would have brought huge embarrassment to her and her family name. Obviously, we're just thinking aloud. We're just trying to work out how this could have happened. Now, if that is the case, then I, again, the question remains of the newspapers, and this is the point that kind of sticks with me. If a fully fleshed body had been placed in newspapers back in 1919, and let's, let's just say that is the year this happened, then why would the newspapers, I won't say be in immaculate condition or anything like that, but they were, certainly, they were certainly in a good enough condition for people in 1995 to, to go off them and to give a date to this poor soul. So how would newspapers not disintegrate with bodily fluids if, if a body had been wrapped up inside them, if you know what I mean. 
So I'm beginning to wonder, perhaps a baby had been born, may have passed away 12 months, 18 months prior. It was hidden away for whatever reason. Then the skeletal remains themselves were taken to the hotel where they were then wrapped up and then placed in the chimney. That would make more sense with regard to the newspapers and being in the condition they were. But it is still a puzzling case nevertheless. Now, it's a bizarre case is this. I'm not going to say it's not. And the video itself is going to be a quick one simply because there is not enough information out there. But we visited the final resting place of the unknown baby to pay our respects. I hope you guys find this one interesting. If you did, comment down below and tell us your thoughts. Now, as Vicky again has just come out with another good point, there were a lot of stillborns or stillbirths back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and it still goes on to this day. Perhaps this was a case of a stillborn. Perhaps, okay. perhaps it was a case of murder out of shame more than anything. Perhaps it may have been a woman who's met up with somebody of power, a businessman, and the businessman has taken the life of that child because obviously if his wife and children find out, it would have been hell on earth. We will never know, we will never ever know. But if you did like this story, comment down below and tell us your thoughts on it. In the meantime, we're gonna leave Burnley Cemetery and head to our next location. We've got stories coming all the time, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Also click on that little bell because it will notify you when videos are next gonna go live. But in the meantime, as I always say guys, I want you to take care, look after yourselves, and we will be back soon with another tale from a dark, but at times, glorious past. Take care everyone.